Hello, my name is Oscar Whitney, and I've been diagnosed with a terminal disease that has never been diagnosed before. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, the doctor said they want me to document the rest of my life, and it sounds like I don't have that much longer to live, so. <clears throat> but at least I get to quit my job. It's pretty cool. Uh, I just put my kid to bed about 20 minutes ago. So that's why this is being made so late. Her, um, her mom died during childbirth and I don't want I can't just give her to a foster home. I need to make sure the new parents that she has take very good care of her. I'm all she has. So I guess that's what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow after I quit my job. This should be fun. <sighs> guess I'm gonna log off for tonight. It's getting pretty late. Well, today didn't really go as planned. I quit my job, got a really big bonus. Thank you, John. Shortly after, I got a speeding ticket. Yep, that bonus was getting to me. After that, I just got some lunch. While I was eating, it dawned on me that finding Kindle some new parents is gonna be tougher than I thought. But I won't think too hard on it. I'll get back to it tomorrow. <laughs> she had a good first day in school. She's really social. Just like her mother was. <laughs> I'm not ready to die. I still haven't told Kendall about my condition. I mean, I know I should, but I don't even know what she'll say or how she'll even react. I mean, how would you react if your father told you he was gonna die in a couple weeks? I'm gonna log off now. I'm feeling sad and my body is fine. That's for your stupid research. I thought I told you not to mess with that camera. Fine. Almost at school. Do you have everything you need? Yes. Pencils? Yes. Lunch? Mm. All right. Okay. Have a good day at school. Okay. Have a good day at school. Hello? What it do, baby? What it do? What's up? Hey, I'm outside. Oh, you are? All right, come in. The door's unlocked. All right, bet. All right. Hey, what's up? What's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? What's up? I'm gonna make this quick today. Uh, basically, I'm gonna be meeting with some interested parents tomorrow morning. I'm gonna use this camera to document as reference to which one I'm gonna pick. I'm feeling good mentally and physically. That's all. Good morning. So, how many people are living in this adoption home? There's currently 13. Oh, well, okay then. Um. How many people run this place? There's four of us. So, all of you guys are teachers and pay for 13 kids? Yes. 
don't teachers like not make a lot of money? No, but we manage. Okay. Well, uh, thank you for coming in. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, thanks for having me. Have a good day. She's weird. On to the next. Well, first off, you're gonna have to break the news to him. And after that? Make sure he's kept under surveillance. Why? We don't know how he's gonna behave because of the disease. Look over it as you will. You'll be seeing him in about 20 minutes. Why did you choose me? This is kind of an important patient. You've been through a lot, right? Yeah. Maybe you'll be able to empathize with him. There isn't shit anywhere. Fuck. Go on. Enjoy. It's five o'clock somewhere, right? Hey, come on. You have to predict your opponent's move. You can't just react to what they do. Fuck. Uh oh. What was that? Sorry, it slipped out. Oh, it slipped out. Better not be sitting in that classroom. I'm not. Okay. It's time to go to bed. Fuck. Always show respect to your opponent. Go brush your teeth. I need to find a cure. I can't let Kendall go with some crazy psycho fucked up in the head teachers. I need to find something. I can't die yet. I can't.
shit cake, I can fuck with a bakery. Got more bread than a motherfucking bakery. Took her back to the crib, little bitch can't stay with me. I don't even know why the fuck you would play. Ran off with the bag with the motherfucking quickie. My name whole weight like a fucking planet 50. Your teeth fucked up, bitch, go to the dick. Hit your ass long range like my name being Simmons. Fuck high school, I can't fuck with the rules. Bitch, I'm Lakata, and you know I keep it too. Slap the fuck out your bitch, cause she was a fool. He was talking wet, I'ma smoke him like a jewel. I'm a seven mile nigga, and I love scat packs. Nigga talking wet, I'ma hit him with a bat. Tryna diss me, you can't do that. Can't fuck with a bitch, cause her ass too flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What? Bitch, money so long, like stairway to heaven. Call Taliban, he been rapping since seven. Oh. Nigga talking wet, I'ma teach you a lesson. Oh. Picking back boo with my niggas, I ain't straight. Yeah, you dumb as fuck, can't answer right, my question. 392, no, the cat down with me. I don't know what the fuck you say. I'm a dumb man. Man, quit following me, dog. You know what? I'm done. I'm done. I don't know what's going on with you. You've been acting different lately. Jalen. Jalen. Okay, I've been doing my research on this disease, and I can't find anything about it anywhere. Literally, I searched everywhere. Yes, the doctor told me that it was a never-before-seen disease. Not that nobody in the world has it. I feel like, I feel like there's a poison in my brain. It's like fucking me up. Something toxic that's killing me from the inside out. Sort of like a Alzheimer's on steroids. Wait a minute. <laughs> if that's the case, maybe. <sighs> and Alzheimer's doesn't have a cure either. Fuck. <sighs> I gotta talk to that that therapist tomorrow. See how the research is going. <sighs> well. In the meantime, it's pretty late. I should go to bed. Oscar, what are you doing? Please tell me you found something. What are you doing? Please tell me you found something. About your condition? Yeah, the disease. You guys been studying it, right? What have you found? Nothing. They haven't been looking. Have you? I tried. I'm sorry, Oscar. We don't know enough about this. Then learn. From what? From me! The fuck? Oscar, look. You have a disease that's developing in the frontal lobe of your brain. It's responsible for your personality, emotions. It's leaving behind lesions, and we can't operate without killing you. I'm sorry. So what you mean to tell me is, I'm supposed to sit around and wait to die. I'm sorry. Open the door! He 
Knew your time was up too, right? I can't go yet, man. I can't. There has to be something. Anything. What did I do to deserve this anyway? Oh, all you've done is take from me. You took my mom. You took my auntie. You took Nikki. And now you're trying to take me too? I can't go yet, man. I can't. There has to be something. I can't let her grow up by herself. I should have got her some car parents. Why me? Today is Saturday. <clears throat> I feel empty. Most of all, I feel like shit. <laughs> I need to find someone. <laughs> I need to find someone to take care of her. Well, what? Describe how you're feeling. Broken. Have you tried meditating? No. You should. What's the point? It might make your remaining time less painful. What? My last five days? I'm sorry. There's nothing we can do to help you. Are you? I am. Why aren't you guys looking for a cure? I barely have any information on the disease that you've developed. So I'm a test subject. You're an anomaly. How much time do I really have? I don't know. What do you know? I know that there's nothing that you can do. So I'm a time bomb. You should avoid going out of the house as much as possible. Why? Because I'm a threat? No, but you will be. Can you at least take care of my kid? Oscar, you know I can't do that. <sighs> the most I can do is put her in a foster home after your passing. No. You can. I know what those things are like, and I don't want her to grow up like that. Oscar, I'm sorry, but there's nothing else I can do. Can I leave now? You're not safe. Nobody is. <coughs> Session two. Session three. Session four. Session five. Session six, session seven, session eight, session nine, session ten, wake unto me, session eleven, starlight and dewdrops, session twelve, session thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, session sixteen, session seventeen. Session 8, Session 19, Session 20. Hey, Dad. It's Oscar, your son. How's it been? I was 
just taking a call on you to tell you I've been diagnosed. No. Hey, dude, the left. Hey, Roger. This is Oscar. Um, how are you? You don't call me. Roger, this is Oscar. How have you been? Okay. What am I doing? I'm dying. Did that ruin your morning? So this is your son. I'm gonna die soon. Are you gonna leave me again? I need you now. Hey Roger, it's Oscar. Um, long time no see. I'm gonna die soon. You know what? You're a sick, sick individual. What kind of man leaves his child when his mother dies? Hmm? Answer me that question. And here I am with your granddaughter, and I'm about to die. And have I got one contact from you? I'm sorry, I overreacted. How about we go for some coffee one day? Hey, Roger. It's Oscar, your son. <sighs> sorry I left that night. I just had to get away. And I ended up having Kendall. She's doing fine, by the way. She's in middle school. But we have to talk. You know what? One more thing. I'm glad you left. I'm glad you weren't at my basketball games. I'm glad you were an absent father, just like every other stereotype. Because you know what? I wouldn't even want a punk bitch made Beard face, your beard is actually awful by the way. I wouldn't even want you in my life. You piece of shit. someone in my head. My head is throbbing. I can't focus. I feel like I'm being watched. I know I'm being watched. I can't control it. I don't know what's going on with me, but I feel like I'm going insane. Hey. Hello. Hi. So what's up? Um. I mean, like, I don't know. What do you guys do? Oh, I am a chemical engineer. And I'm a nurse at the local hospital. That's dope. So, um, why do you guys want to adopt Kendall? Well, we can't have any kids of our own. Uh, my wife is sterile. And, um, well, Kendall, she seems like a really good kid. Uh, we haven't met her yet, but on paper, uh, we believe she'll be perfect, fit right in. Oh, yeah? You guys have any other kids at home? Uh, no, we have a couple cats. Ah, well, she hates cats. Well, we could always get rid of... No, we can't. Stacy. Is she allergic? No, she just doesn't like them. Well, can she start? Well, can she start? So you're just gonna sit and rot away the last few days of your life? You know, there's a lot you can do before the Lord takes your hand. Like what? 
jump out of a plane, bungee jump. You can still say goodbye. I know that you keep denying it. Deep down, you want it to all be just a lie. That you'll wake up and everything will be back to normal. I hate to break it to you, but this is reality. Tomorrow, you'll wake up and be in even worse shape. Same goes for the day after that. There's nothing you can do. You're wrong! You don't know me, and you don't know how I think. Oscar. Shut up! Shut up! Please, shut up. Every day I wake up, and I wake up Kendu. I see that innocent smile on her face. That odd, charismatic joy, always emitting from her. I can't help but feel empty inside. Knowing that I'm, knowing she's gonna have to grow up without me. Every first date, prom, college, graduate, all of that. All of that without me. I can barely get out of the bed in the morning. Kendall's gonna be just fine. How do you know? I don't. But it doesn't hurt to be a little optimistic. <sighs> Have you told her? I can't. Scared? I haven't told anyone about my condition either. I know bit of a hypocrite here. The only person in my family I talk to is my mom. Even that, I haven't done that in years. I'm sorry. Don't be. It was my choice. Didn't like the way things were going, so I left. I ran. I moved. I thought there was so much out here. Had such big aspirations. Up till the day I went to the hospital because I coughed up a bit of blood. Life's been on the calendar ever since. You know, I'm not even scared about the other side anymore. I feel like nothing can be as bad as the hell we're living in right now. Whoa, you all right? Yeah, just, just a chill. Can I get you a drink? Uh, you got Coke? Yeah. Open the door! Open the oh, Fuck! You alright? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just built the door. Okay. What do you want to watch next? That's my video. 
But if you don't want to watch anything, turn off the TV. Sorry. No. Sorry. What's your problem? Kendall? Hmm. I have something to tell you. <laughs> What's up? What? Uh, I got some Oreos earlier. Oh, sweet. Not right now, though. I said not right now! Have I ever told you the story of the little deer? Once was a deer named Frederick. He lived with his father, Marshall. Marshall loved his son so very much. But one day, Frederick made Marshall really, really angry. You wanna know what Frederick did? Frederick didn't listen to Marshall when he was supposed to. And Marshall, <laughs> Marshall couldn't take it anymore. So he grabbed Frederick and he lifted Frederick. <sighs> Frederick was gasping. <clears throat> and Marshall said, I'm talking to you. Go to your room. I can't get it out of my head, okay? No matter what, all I hear is people laughing and talking in my ear every fucking second. And my fingers. I can't feel my fucking fingers. I don't know why. Why are you laughing at me? Everybody's asking all these questions. How are you? Are you okay? Why are you acting like this? Why are you awake? I had a bad dream. Your dream isn't real. Now go to bed. But dad. Remember that little deer?
Good morning, Miss Livingston. Good morning, Oscar. Why don't you take a seat? That's fine, I can just take stand. Take a seat. You toss and turn a lot in your sleep. Restless? Yeah. Interesting. How did you find this place? I can't tell you that. Why did you find this place? You had a daughter, right? Where's she at? I don't see her anywhere. I think I remember. She'd be about seven right now, right? Yes. Where is she? She's not here. Oh. She's at a friend's house. Don't lie. Why did you come here? It was a car accident, right? Why are you doing this? Killed her and your husband, right? Why haven't you got him back out there? Stop it. You've been so long. I'm fine. Do you miss your daughter? I don't see any pictures of her around the house. Why are you doing this? Nobody's good enough. 35 people, and not one, is moderately capable of raising my daughter. Would you rather it have been you that died in that crash? You don't understand. So you wouldn't have to live with the pain of knowing your daughter is dead? Stop it. You still think about that night, don't you? I would do anything to switch places with her. Why? She was just a child. But she wouldn't have anything without you. She would have had a life. Did your parents look? Yes. You're useless to me. I gotta do something. I gotta stop him. He's dangerous. Hi, this is Janet Livingston. I'm, I'm a psych doctor at St. Joseph Hospital. I'm, I'm calling because my patient, uh, Oscar Whitney, he, there's something wrong with him. He, he broke into my house this morning. Ma'am, did he hurt you? No. Did he touch you? No. So why is he dangerous? He, he's just gone insane. There's something wrong with him. He's not the same anymore. Can you describe his behavior, ma'am? He was sitting there calmly, quiet, he was manipulating me. There's something wrong. Ma'am, it's, uh, it's pretty early. Uh, are you sure you didn't just have a bad dream? God damn it, no! Fuck! I thought you were somebody else. But even if I can empathize with them, how is that going to help? It might help. It might not. You'll be able to understand personally. We believe that over time, he's going to become more and more barbaric, eventually becoming less and less human-like. 
When you think it's time, bring him back to the hospital, and we'll keep him under watch for the remainder of his life. And what about his kid? We'll pick up the kid and she'll be placed in the care of the state, as is usually the case. Hello, Roger. I, uh... Can I come in? Yeah, sure. Sure. Hello? Good morning, Janet. It's time. What? It's time! Oscar isn't the same anymore. He broke into my house this morning was sitting and waiting for me on my couch. There's something wrong. Slow down, slow down. Where are you? I'm outside of Oscar's house. Did he hurt you? No. Where's Oscar? I don't know. I went here thinking that's where he was going to be. He should have been here by now. How do you not know where he is? When I left the house, I panicked. I called the cops. Okay. And they thought I was crazy. I went outside and ran after Oscar, but he was gone. Okay. I'm calling for backup. Don't do anything until they get there. Okay. Okay. Just stay calm. All right? All right. Call me if you need me. Can I come in? Yeah, sure. It's been a while. How have you been? How long have you been at this place? Uh, a few years or so. I like what you've done with it. Oh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. This absentee? Uh, <laughs> it, it might be. I, I, don't, man, I don't know. It just jumped to me. Some food on you, hungry? Yeah, I can eat. I'm sorry for everything that happened between us. I, uh, I've been going to uh, therapy for eight years. I've been doing counseling for six. I, I want to start over, you know? Try again. Be a real dad. Why haven't you called? I, uh... I'm gonna die in the next 24 hours. What? I have this disease in my brain. Eating up everything I have up there. Oscar. I'm only telling you this because... I know you won't tell anyone. What are you talking about? I've wanted to do this for so long. Oscar, it, it doesn't have to be like this. I've changed. I, I, I have. You never cared about me. It's a shame, isn't it? Some people say, oh, I didn't need him. Look at me, I turned out just fine. Well, I didn't. I'm a fucking maniac. Oscar, I'm, I'm sorry. 
Can I have a second chance? <sighs> a second chance? You had your chance, okay? Where were you when I needed that phone call? I, I didn't know what to say. Okay. I'll give you some time to think. I, uh... Time's up. Kendall? Kendall, sweetie, it's Janet. I'm your dad's therapist. Kendall, Kendall, I'm not here to hurt you. Your dad's ill. He's not acting the same. He's unstable. Kendall! My dad told me I could talk to strangers. Sweetie, I'm not a stranger. I'm with the hospital. I'm your dad's therapist. Where is he? I don't know where he is right now, but he's probably on his way, okay? The police are going to be here soon. Shit. No, Kendall! Kendall! Shit! Fuck! Hey, what's up? Good morning. You feeling alright? <sighs> How was your morning? Uh, it was okay. It's early. Why'd you want to see me? I have a question. Ask away. Why is it that you're not afraid of death? Oh. Um. Because I have no regrets. Once I die, I have no unfinished business. You know? You've given up? <laughs> yeah, I guess something like that. <laughs> what? I, um. I don't know how to say this, but I'm gonna die today. What? How do you know? Because I'm either gonna get killed or I'm gonna do it myself. Something's different. Something's wrong. Sometimes people change. You're acting weird. I gotta go. Why? I just, I wanna go. Come on, you shouldn't leave so soon. Oscar. I told you you shouldn't leave so soon. What's your problem? Come on, it's not like I shot you. Where the hell did you get a gun? Can you please stop yelling? Hey, what's going on, bro? Keep walking, buddy. Oh, shit. Maybe we'll see each other again one day. What about the origin? It's unknown, but we believe it has to do with multiple things. What do you mean? Concussions, alcohol, smoking, lack of guidance, depression, genetics. There's no way for us to pinpoint the one thing that caused it. Open the door! Open the door! Oscar, stop. Leave right now. Oscar, you gotta fight this. This isn't you. Put the gun down. Everything's gonna be no, okay. No, no. it's not. Is this the way you want it to go down? Is this the way you want to be remembered? Who's gonna remember me? Your daughter. 
everyone you know. Me. I was wrong about you.